Excuse me, can I help you? Are you looking for Prior Mabel or Joffrey? I think he's sleeping, but it must be important. Go ahead upstairs and wake him. I'm Brother Joffrey. What do you want? Emperor Uriel? Do you know something about his death? You brought me the Amulet of Kings? This cannot be. Let me see it. By the Nine! This is the Amulet of Kings. Who are you? How did you get this? What do you know of the Emperor's death? As unlikely as your story sounds, I believe you. Only the strange destiny of Uriel Septim could have brought you to me carrying the Amulet of Kings. The Prince of Destruction he referred to is none other than Merun's Dagon, one of the lords of the demonic world of Oblivion. The Emperor's words, close shut the jaws of Oblivion, certainly suggest that he perceived some threat from Oblivion. But all the scholars agree that the mortal world is protected from the Daedra of Oblivion by magical barriers. I'm not sure. Only the Emperors truly understand the meaning behind the rituals of coronation. The Amulet of Kings is ancient. Saint Alicia herself received it from the gods. It is a holy relic of great power. When an Emperor is crowned, he uses the amulet to light the dragon fires at the Temple of the One in the Imperial City. With the Emperor dead and no new heir crowned, the dragon fires in the temple will be dark for the first time in centuries. It may be that the dragon fires protected us from a threat that only the Emperor was aware of. I am one of the few who know of his existence. Many years ago I served as captain of Uriel's bodyguards, the Blades. One night Uriel called me into his private chambers. A baby boy lay sleeping in a basket. Uriel told me to deliver him. Now, his name, you must... I keep a few things here in my chest. 